this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, we are going to be getting beautiful, <laughs> and I'm going to be joined in this video by Mr. Elfily. And whoop whoop, and a big pile of Mr. Elfley's equipment. <laughs> Lee, are you there? Is anybody home? Hello, Lee. Good morning. Wait, stay still. Stay still, Lee. Oh, I was going to go and try and steal the cake without picking up all of the, the other stuff. <laughs> Speaking of cake, do you know what I want, Lee? Nom, 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 nom. Down in one. That's the way Stampy Cat does it. <laughs> and I'm also in this video going to be joined by... Is anyone around here? Any other people in my house? Oh, oh, who's this? That isn't Henry or Hilda hanging out in their room. <laughs> Who have I found in it? Oh, there, there's Hilda. I'm also going to be joined by Ash in this video, as well as someone else, some slippery fella, uh, who I'm sure is going to be showing up at some point in the video. I'm having a look out the window here to see if I can spot him. <laughs> he normally has lions, though. Uh, we're also going to be joined by Henry as well, and I'm not sure where Henry is at the moment. We've been trying to find him, and oh, here he is. He's just hanging out. That's where he was last video, just hanging out on the uh, the wrong side of the railing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly uh, put down just a, a few blocks, just in case he is stuck, and then hopefully he's going to be, be able to escape. There you go, Henry. You can run free. You can run free whenever you want. Run free, or just stand there doing nothing. Whatever you want to do, Henry, it's up to you. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, add someone to the, the love garden through here. And if you don't know what the love garden is, uh, it's basically a place where uh, I add someone's name and a sign and give them a shout out and uh, say thank you to them for some reason. And uh, today I am adding, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, uh, Sa Sultan. Uh, sorry if I got your name wrong, but uh, she drew me an amazing picture of me. And when I say me, I mean the real me, not the stampy cat me. And I'm going to leave as a, a, as a, um, a link in the description, uh, a link to a video where you can see the picture she based her drawing off. But I thought it was absolutely amazing. So I want to say a very big thank you and welcome to my love garden. And I get quite a lot of people asking me about uh, how to get added to my love garden. And uh, the thing I always say is to try and uh, come up with something original. Don't look at what other... Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear Lee there working away <laughs> on the uh, the anvil? Yeah, try to do something original. Uh, original. Don't look at what uh, other people have done and instead, uh, yeah, try and come up with a, a new and exciting way uh, to be added to the love garden. But you're not allowed to ask. That's the only rule. You're not allowed to ask to be added. <laughs> anyway, you might be wondering why I haven't decided to pick a dog. And that's because today I'm taking Fluffy. And uh, Fluffy doesn't live in the, the dog house. Fluffy lives down here uh, inside of the uh, the Pick a Pet Pet Shop. So Fluffy, uh, you can join me here for uh, today's video. And oh, Lee's thrown something for, to me. What's Lee thrown me? Uh, Lee's Super Spectacular Sword. Thank you very much, Lee. That's very kind of you. Only joking. I know you're not giving it to me. I know you just wanted to show it to me. I've got my own sword anyway. I got Diamond Sword. I'm going to have to uh, come up with my, my own name there. Maybe I should do it Stampy's Super Spectacular Sword as well. We can both have some some spectacular swords <laughs> anyway in the last video we were here building this uh, water pyramid and uh, since then we've finished off placing all the water on the top uh, we basically did it the uh, the same on each side as you uh, saw in the last video and I think it looks quite cool doesn't it and it looks even better at night so uh, yeah once it becomes dark this whole place is all kind of glowing and it looks really cool uh, so all we need to do now is uh, build everything inside uh, so the main things we need to build is a jacuzzi uh, we need to build a, uh, a little foot uh, a foot fishy fountain thing down here and also the main big thing in the middle is going to be the beautifier and as soon as that's the uh, the most important thing I'm going to do that first and uh, I've actually got a, uh, a shovel here with silk touch and uh, so this way when I break the uh, the glass uh, it all just drops down there and so I'm going to be able to go and uh, pick it all up again and uh, this thing's going to be quite big it's basically going to look like a, a big shower and uh, you're going to go inside and I've got a dispenser here and you're going to press a button which is going to dispense some uh, magical beautifying water uh, which is going to go all over you and then hopefully when you come out uh, you're going to come out looking even more beautiful uh, than you did when you went in when you went in so that's what the uh, the plan is going to be so uh, the only problem is I am going to have to do the the redstone in the video and uh, that doesn't always uh, end well but we'll see we'll see hopefully this is just going to be uh, an, an efficient guide to uh, to how to to build a beautifier and it looks like uh, Lee's there already working hard building the uh, the, the the little feet fo fountain I think we can call that the fishy feet fountain I guess we can call that Lee while you're writing the sign and hello squid nugget how are you doing today are you okay oh you're here keeping guard squid's there keeping guard at the front just to make sure no googly's coming we actually 
had uh, quite a lot of trouble with googlies uh, in the in the last video they were all over the place uh, but Lee did an, an amazing job uh, keeping them at bay so hopefully uh, it's going to be the same here with a uh, squid on guard rather than Lee and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a, a big booth here and I'm going to do it all out of uh, this dark blue and uh, light blue wall and that way it's going to be kind of uh, sticking with the the whole water theme kind of like a, a big wave I guess uh, and that's what the, the thing is going to look like and then there's going to be a button down on the side down here somewhere uh, which is what you're going to press to, to start the, the water dropping and uh, then we're going to probably put some some glowstone on the floor just to, to light the whole thing up and then just uh, a wooden or a wooden or an iron door at the front just to, uh, to stop the water spilling all over the place because <laughs> yeah even though there is water kind of everywhere at the moment it's kind of contained and so I don't want it to be uh, spilling all over the place so uh, let me go just place these last few blocks in here and I've almost run out of a colored wool already I need to place that one on there and then that one up there and then this is this is kind of what it's going to look like from the front but that's going to be down like that there and this is where the the door's going to be and I need to grab a, a little bit more wool just to, to go and fill it in oh what's this here oh there's a nice little shower down here as well is this like a little tester oh squid's down there I didn't even see you down there squid <laughs> squid's just having a, a little practice go is he I think uh, that's just a, a little warm up before he uses the main beautifier and all oh, the ashes here wallowing in the water come cool down ash dubs water cooler costs one fish I got some competition here. I'm trying to build my spa. Squid's building a little spa down here and so is Ash. <laughs> We've got a little bit of competition. You should build one as well, Lee. And what's Lee built? Uh, fishy feet fountain. So you can sit down here and you dangle your, your feet uh, in the fountain and then fish come and suck on your feet and that's apparently a good thing supposedly <laughs> don't ask me I didn't actually come up with that that is a, a real thing that that people actually do so I don't know ask your parents why they do that but that is a thing people do <laughs> anyway let's go put some some glowstone on the, in the floor down here just so I can uh, see what I'm doing and then I'm going to put in the the dispenser and it should be quite simple I basically just need to, to link up some some redstone to the dispenser so uh, as you press the uh, the button some some water is going to go and come out so I think I need to if I place a block there and put a redstone torch uh, on top of that uh, then that will hopefully power the the dispenser that is the plan so let me just go uh, make a very quick crafting table uh, I always make a, a whole load of crafting tables but <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter I don't think I needed one actually all I'm doing is making a redstone torch let's just make a uh, a few of them and then once I've built this I'll go over to to where Lee is and I'll build the the jacuzzi down there right I'm gonna place it so it's like oh no I didn't mean to do it like that I want to place it so it's kind of just standing up I think it might need to be uh, but don't ask me I'm no redstone master then if we do uh, another one directly underneath it if I do another one there and then I need to, to go around here and uh, link up some redstone uh, through here and then this is where the the buttons gonna be so if I think if I do some if I just put some redstone dust on the the floor down there and then put a block there and then I can put one on top of it, which can have a sign that just says, like, press here to beautify. Hopefully, uh, that is going to power the dispenser. So all I need to do now is go and get a, a bucket of water. And I think I have quite a few in here. Here we go. If I go grab a bucket of water and I uh, go and put that uh, inside the, the dispenser up here. And then I'm going to do a quick tester uh, pressing a button just to, to make sure it is actually working. And I don't actually think I need a crafting table to make a button. No, there we go. I can just make a, a quick wooden one here. And right, hopefully if I press that button, the water's going to come out. What I should probably do, though, is uh, try and block off some of the redstone, though. Because otherwise the, the water's going to come out and it's just going to destroy all of the redstone that I just placed. And that wouldn't be much fun. So let's go and uh, fill all of this in. And then I'll do a quick test to go. And hopefully it's going to work. I think I need to fill in the back here as well, like like this uh, there we go this is kind of like a, a little shower and hopefully if I press the button there we go all the water's coming out and spilling everywhere no this is not good turn it off turn it off turn it off <laughs> oh dear yeah it, it kind of worked the one thing we're missing something that I didn't think about is the door so <laughs> let's go and uh, go make uh, just a wooden door for now and uh, we can go and plonk that uh, on the the front there there we go that should hopefully contain the water and uh, let's go and fill this in here as well because it's all looking uh, a little bit exposed and there we go this is the pretty kitty beautifier 100% complete let me just go and uh, grab a sign so I can put a sign on it just so uh, if we have any tourists coming into my world if they walk in here they're gonna know what they're looking at just need to make a, a few more wooden planks and if I go and make a sign and all I need to do now is try and decide how to spell beautifier <laughs> uh, let's just say B E A U T fire there we go. There's the beauty 
beauty fire. Yeah, it's not really a real word, so I technically can't spell it wrong, but that still doesn't look quite right. <laughs> then I can have another sign here just saying press here to beautify, but I'm not too worried about that for now. And yeah, let's go, let's go and start building the, the jacuzzi then, shall we, Lee? I think if I go, I'll put down some, oh no, I didn't mean to put that there. Let's get rid of that. Hopefully it's not going to muck up the water. All good. I'm going to put down some, some dark blue wool there, and I might put some glowstone underneath here just to make it look like it's all nice and toasty and heated. And let's go carry on building this round here, kind of how you were anyway. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, build a, a nice little jacuzzi. So uh, the last thing I need to do is go and fill up some buckets so I can fill it up. And I think I need to get uh, one more piece of uh, wool as well. I think we should have some in here. We got some in here, Lee, actually. Uh, we got some some buckets uh, of water right in here. And I need some, some more dark blue wool, which should be in here. And uh, if you don't mind me, what's going on over here? Jump in here and don't move. This is squid slide, apparently. Okay. Not the most extreme slide I've seen, but let's give it a go, shall we? Woo! Splash. <laughs> That's quite gentle. That's quite quite nice and soothing, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me just go and steal a, a little bit of your water. Don't don't mind me. I'm just stealing a little bit of your water. You've got plenty. And uh, let's go and uh, fill up my, my jacuzzi with it then, shall we? I go and place some down there. And uh, I've got, well, I've got loads of buckets on me here. Let's go and place some down in that corner down there. There we go. Here's our nice jacuzzi. I need to come up with a name of it. Tell you what, since um, the last update, they've added carpets. If we put carpets around the outside, they could be like cushions. And then we could call it the, the cozy koozie. Like the cozy jacuzzi, the cozy koozie. Is that a good name? <laughs> Maybe not. Let's call it that anyway. Right, if I go and... um. I got the wool on me anyway. Let me go and try and make carpets. I've actually never made carpets before, so I don't actually know uh, where you go to make them. Here they are, in decorations. Let's go make a whole load of them and uh, a whole load of the, the dark ones as well. And uh, I don't need any more wooly. And then uh, what I do is I just do like it alternating the other pattern. So if I go and pl place the, the light wool and all the dark blue wool and then do the, the same the other way around, it should be just uh, uh, quite a, a cool, funky pattern. Check that out. I kind of like the look of that. There's the, the cozy cozy that is down there. <laughs> so here we are. I think it's all completely done now. I think we've we have built everything that we, we needed to, to build in here. So um, yeah, I guess we can, all we need to do now is go and uh, relax and use everything. I'm going to go and um, uh, get rid of a, a whole load of my uh, unwanted items. I've got loads of buckets of water in here and I don't need a bunch of them. Let's go and uh, dump all of that stuff down in here and uh, lighten our, our pockets up a little bit. And uh, let, I know what we should do. We need to we need to get some fish. We need to get some some fish for the, the, the fishy fountain. I've actually got a, a fishing rod on me here. I guess we could uh, just go out here and uh, go and uh, grab a few fish. Uh, it'd be good to have a, a, quite a few of them. Then we can just go and uh, uh, throw them throw them down inside of the, the fishy fountain. And um, yeah, then we can go and uh, dangle our feet down in there. I dangle my, my paws in there and uh, the fish can go there. And look at that! I caught a fish already. That's that's not bad going. Alright, let's see if I, if I catch a, a couple fish and if you go grab some as well. There we go! I got another one as well. Look at this speed fishing! I might be able to set a record here for catching the most fish in a minute or something. I got two almost instantly. Can I get another one? New fish in three, two, one, go! Oh no, I was trying to get lucky. Sometimes if you just do an artificial count, and there we go, free fish. That was pretty speedy, I will be honest. <laughs> and so I can go and throw these uh, in the in the fountain, and uh, yeah, then we can go into the the fishy fish fountain. I might just uh, put a little um. A little chest next to it, uh, and then that way, that's where we can uh, we can store all of our all of our fish. And so we can go and uh, place that down there. And I might lighten up a bit. I might do some some glowstone here as well. If I do a uh, glowstone in each of the uh, the four corners, uh, that will kind of glow the uh, light the the whole area up. And there's there's Lee throwing a, a few fish down. So if I go and throw down uh, a few more as well, look, there's loads of them. Then I can just go and stand here and dangle my feet in. <laughs> I think I need to to take my boots off for this one. Take off my stampy style boots and just go and dangle them all in. <laughs> Ah, oh dear, this is pretty awesome. Anyway, should we all have a go on the, the beautifier then? Uh, I think that's uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to do. That's probably the uh, the best thing we've got here. And uh, we can see if it works. We've not had a, a little test to go. And I think uh, Squid's here trying to, to make the, the, the slide a bit better. Do you want me to give you a, a quick nudge here, Squid? Uh, let me just put down a, a torch so I can see what I'm doing. Right, you stay where you are, Squid. I don't think you've got much choice. And there we go! Woo, that actually... Kinda, almost, but still, once again, kinda didn't work. <laughs> anyway, let's all go and have a have a go and need the beautify then. Right, who needs it most? Who needs to use the beautifier most? Um, Ash is saying not him. I don't think uh, Lee's saying uh, Squid. 
Would you like to, to volunteer to use the, the beautifier? No, 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 no. You stay sitting down there, Fluffy. I saved you there, Squid. I saved you. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Get along, guys. Get along. Uh, Squid, if you follow me through here, uh, you can have the, the first test to go. You're privileged. You're privileged to be the first person to be able to use it. Uh, so, yeah, if you just let yourself in there, go stand uh, uh, on that piece of glowstone. Uh, I just need to, to hop round here. And if I press this button, uh, hopefully, assuming that my redstone's actually working, there should be a, a whole load of uh, water trickling down on him and then uh, I give him a little bit of time I think I'm I'm going to give Squid a little bit more time than the than the others for no, for no other reason than because you're going first Squid then if I press the button again hopefully Squid is going to come out looking even more beautiful than he did when he went in hopefully I haven't washed his uh, his hat off has it worked oh Oh, you look beautiful, darling. You're hardly even recognisable, Ballistic Squid. <laughs> um, come out, madam. I mean, sir. I mean, I don't even know. Um, your new look. Do, do you like your new look, Squid? Are you happy with your new look? You don't like it. Right, do you want to go back in then? And then uh, we'll have another go, and uh, we'll see what we're what it's going to end up looking like. Oh, I did not expect that. Squid is not going to be happy. Hopefully he doesn't ask for his money back. Actually, wait, then again, he didn't even pay, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, I'm going to give him a, a little bit more uh, time in there, this go, and hopefully uh, something good is going to come out. And uh, yeah, let's. that should be long enough. Let's go and press the button. Oh, I can hear him getting hurt in there. I think uh, I left it on for a little bit too long that time. Right then, Squid, do you want to do you want to come out and we can see what your, your new look is going to be? Oh, he looks exactly exactly the same right i guess he he needs a, a little bit more time in there <laughs> let's go turn it back on and just uh, uh leave it going for a little while or a little while and hopefully uh, he is going to come out looking beautiful and then after that we can all have uh, our own goes going in and uh, see what we're going to going to end up looking like right that should be long enough uh, i've turned it off do you want to come out now squid do you want to come out and hopefully look even more beautiful oh that's a that's certainly a, a, a change. That's certainly very different. Um, <laughs> uh, what happened to all your tentacles? Right, I think it's time that someone else had a go. Uh, did you want to have a go, Ash? Did you want to have a, have a go on the, the beautifier and see what you're going to uh, end up looking like? Right, if I put him in there, once again, if I just go and turn on the water... Uh, that should all be trickling down now. And the, the magic beautifying water uh, should be enough to, to change him to make him look uh, absolutely beautiful. So uh, that should be long enough. Let me go and press the button again. And do you want to come out now, Ash? And uh, we can see what you're, you've ended up looking like. Uh, here he comes. And he... Oh! Um... It certainly made you look different, Ash. That, that, that's for sure. You certainly don't look the same as you did when you went in. More beautiful might be uh, a slight stretch, but <laughs> certainly you look very different. If, if you were walking down the street, Ash, I would have a second look. That, that, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, Lee, do you want to have a go then? What's it going to make Lee end up looking like? You, you probably want to take your, your leggings off before you go in there. You don't want to get uh, all your, your trousers soggy when you once you're inside. Yeah, I'll hold on to them for you. I'll hold on to your clothes. Uh, you can go inside of the uh, the beautifier. And uh, yeah, we can see what, what Lee's going to uh, gonna end up looking like. What would, what would Lee end up end up looking like oh oh he's changed already i saw that he's all he's almost already changed what 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 <laughs> look at lee he's got glasses on he's even happier now than he than he normally looks come stand out here lee and come come give us a twirl this can be your little catwalk here come walk down and give us a twirl show us your new look oh look at that little waistcoat you look amazing lee <laughs> Oh dear, I, I want my go. I want my go. I want to have a go going inside of the beautifier. Right, uh, I'm going to take my, my boots off. Uh, you can you can hold on to, to my boots, Lee. And then do you want to go and, uh, and you can press the button and uh, we can see what I'm going to end up looking like. I'm actually kind of curious. I've seen what everyone else ended up looking like, uh, but I'm curious about what I'm going to end up looking like. Right, do you want to press the button, Lee? And then hopefully all the, uh, the water is going to go and uh, start trickling down from here. Do you want to press the button? Here we go. Here's the water coming down now. And let's see what I'm going to end up looking like. Right, do you want to turn it off now, Lee? Before I before I end up drowning? Right, there we go. And uh, let's go outside and see what I look like. Oh! Oh, um... I'm still I'm still an orange cat, but I'm just a, a slightly different orange cat than, than I was when I when I first went in. I, I don't like it. I look I look a bit angry, I look a bit stern like this. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I like this beautifier. <laughs> I think what it's taught me is we should all just stay looking like what we look like anyway and just be happy with the way we look and not worry about changing anything. And Lee, are you wearing my are you wearing my stampy style boots? Right, in that case I'm gonna go and wear your clothes. <laughs> Ooh, I think I look quite good. Actually, this is quite a good look. <laughs> Being this cat with these leggings is a uh, quite a cool look. And what do you want, Squid? Oh, Squid wants another go. You want you wanna have another go inside? Right. The final go of the beautifier. This is gonna be the last time. 
and we're going to use it. So hopefully uh, this is going to end up a good one. Right, let's leave him in there for a little while. He's ended up changing and looking like quite a, a wide variety of different things. Very unsquid like uh, So let's see what he's going to end up looking like this time. Right, that should be just about long enough. If I go and press the uh, the button again and uh, turn off the water. And Squid, do you want to come outside and show us your, your new look? There we go! Now you look more like a squid. Well, you look a bit more like a, an octopus. Look at your tentacles. Look how many tentacles you got now. <laughs> you certainly do look tentacool. God, that was a bad pun. Even by my standards, that was a bad pun. <laughs> Alright, let's all go outside and let's all stand in a row uh, with our with our new outfits and our, and our new look. So we got Ballistic Squid, the octopus. Uh, we got Ash, the hippo that looks more like a toad. Uh, we got Lee Bear, who's still a bear, but a very different type of bear. And we got Stampy Cat, who's a, a new kind of Stampy Cat. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed watching us uh, completely building the, uh, the Pretty Kid e Spa and uh, the Beautify Machine. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play, uh, which should be online very soon. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!